welcome my fellow wizards and witches and everyone in between so what we're going to say i didn't get around to doing it with video last week because i was working on my intro which i think you'll see in this video so i know it's not perfect but i spend about like 12 hours on this like the whole animation thing that's my first animation i've ever done and i'm also not the best artist so well but here we are i'm pretty proud of it and that's what I'm going to be using, I think, for quite a while. So, yeah. So what we're going to do this week, I might actually post two videos this week. I'm not too sure yet. I'll have a look. But, yeah, for this video right here, right now, as you can tell from the title, we're going to be going through Harry Potter pairings and ships and whatever and kind of rate them yay or nay. So, I think what I'm going to start with is the canon pairings, so like the sh like people that actually ended up being together in the books and movies and etc, obviously. So I'm going to be starting with those and then go into more fandom and fiction related kind of pairings. And yeah, like it's, I used to be, I'm not, I haven't read fan fiction in years actually, but I used to read so much fan fiction. I literally stay up all night reading fan fiction. Just as a warning, like a little disclaimer, these pairings are not just straight pairings. So it's not just male, female, it's male, male, female, female? I think, yeah. There's also a couple female, female in there. So this is all sorts of relationships, like all of them. So if you have a problem with that, just click away just there's no need for hate really like obviously some of the pairings I like better than others some of them I just can't see happening everyone has their own op opinion about it and the fandom is really really torn about those pairings so when I was younger and like reading fan fictions a lot obviously I had my favorite pairings but that doesn't mean I still see those pairings the same way now just because I don't know because back then when I used to read fan fiction I never really had a relationship and like those kind of things and now that I have my boyfriend obviously and I know what it's like to work and function in a relationship my view on some of these pairings have changed like drastically and I think that's just important to mention so maybe I'll mention like with each pairing what my opinion was before and what it is now first pairing that we're going to talk about is obviously Himmy which is Ginny Weasley and Harry Potter and that's what it's like in the book that's how it ended up happening so obviously in the book they're happily ever after and overall i do like them together um the only problem is i think there's a big difference here between book their book relationship and their movie relationship because Gin Ginny in the movies is so different from what she's like in the books so I don't like them in the movies but just because Ginny is really weird in the movies and really awkward and their relationship is really awkward in the movies but just from the books I really like Ginny Ginny's like a firecracker she like she loves Quidditch she is all into all these things that Harry's into really and I think they just function really well in the books the movies just kind of ruin this so this pairing is definitely yay for me yeah I really like them together and I can't see Harry with anyone else really so I think they work well next is Romeo and Romeo and obviously that's Hermione how do you say that? Romeoine so I always said Romeo but now that makes that doesn't make any sense with Hermione anyway Hermione and Ron which again is how it happens in the books and the movies it's that one is a bit hard for me. Overall, I'll do it a yay because I think they do go well together and I think they fit well together. On the other hand, I think somewhere, it said JK Rowling also said they would probably have couple therapy. And I think that would be true because they do clash a lot and they don't have the same views on things. So, which are just little things really, but I think that would make a big difference in a relationship. So, yeah, I think overall I like them together, but there would have probably been better options for them. 
Then the next couple that definitely happened in the books is Harry and Cho, which gets a nay from me. Because, again, their relationship in the movies is completely different than it is in the books. And I think they just didn't, like, they didn't work well together. Harry liked Cho for her appearance and because she was a Quidditch player and those kind of things. But they that was all, like, a su superficial, like... Like few, they didn't really know anything about each other, and then obviously Cho ended up with Cedric, and then when Cedric died and everything, they just, I think maybe Cho kind of because they did have like sparks before that. I think maybe she tried to relive everything with Harry and everything, and that was I think it was just the wrong thing to do. Maybe if they had continued their relationship like years later, maybe it could have worked. But I think they just didn't know each other very well. And it was more like very based on looks rather than character. Although, I mean, Harry does mention that she's really sweet and kind and everything, but that doesn't necessarily mean they like work well together in a relationship. So that one definitely gets an A from me. Then the next one will be Cho and Cedric, which I think gets a yay from me. You don't really hear much about their relationship in like the books or whatever so you don't know how well they work with each other but I think from what you gather Cho seemed really happy, Cedric seemed he really happy so I think that would have worked well then the next one on my list, I've got the list on here that's why I keep looking down the next one on my list that did happen in the books was Hermione and Victor Crumb which, well, it happened, but it didn't happen really, because they weren't really together, were they? But they're still, like, kind of, they are out there as, like, a pairing in a ship. So, yeah. I think while they're, like, kind of... I'm going to call it a relationship, even though it really wasn't. Their relationship phase was interesting and cute. I don't think long-term they would have worked well together. I think they were just too different from each other and they grew up too differently and just overall I just couldn't see them ending up together. I did like them as friends though. So that one gets a nay but I did like them as friends. Sorry the light is a bit awful. I turned the light on over there but it doesn't make much difference does it? Next one on my list, uh, still on the champions really, the Travis Tournament champions is Bill Weasley and Fleur de Luco, which I think I love that pairing, I just love it, because just how Fleur is throughout, like, Goblet of Fire sp specifically, because that's why I'm on now and where you meet her first, she's just this really arrogant and kind of a bit snobby person, and she, you just kind of don't like her, but then Bill is, like, really down to earth and, like, funny, and I think they just kind of bring out the best in each other, and then obviously with, like, Bill's accident, and his scars and everything and Fleur still being on his side just proves who she really is and from what I remember like in the later books like from when they marry and everything she her personality changes quite a lot which I think is really important to note here so overall they get a yay from me and I'm happy that they ended up together then the next one that definitely happened is Ginny and Dean which I can't say too much on it because it's not they don't talk a lot, like, they don't talk about it very much in the books. Like, you don't get a big insight in their relationship. I think that one gets a nay from me, actually, because they didn't work out very well, did they? If I remember correctly, they just, they fought a lot, they just, Ginny was crying a lot, they just weren't happy. I think it was one of these relationships by chance. So you kind of, like, because they were both Gryffindor, they were similar in age, so obviously they spend a lot of time together, like, through, like, especially since Dean was, like, in Harry and Ron's, like, social circle. Obviously then Ginny got introduced into that with Hermione and everything. So I think they just ended up being together by chance, which happens when you're a teenager. Like, obviously you always end up with people that it doesn't always work out with, and I think that's just what it was. So I think... As a couple, they were probably cute together, and I'm glad that they had each other for a while, but it's an A. Then the last one that I have, which actually truly happened, is Lily and James, which I'm not gonna, you again, can't say much about, because obviously you don't get that much insight, but from the insight that you have, and based on all the fanfictions I've read about them, I love them together. 
I think they work really well. I think they, again, like Bill and Fleur, bring out the best in each other. And I think they could have been really happy if they had the chance to. They just didn't get to enjoy it as long as they deserved it. So that one gets a yay. Although it's sad that it ended so soon. Now on to the pairings that are somewhat popular, but definitely made up. So, the first one, which I think I'm going to get quite a lot of controversy over, is Dreary, which is Draco Malfoy and Harry Potter. While I admit that I used to read quite a lot of fanfictions about them, it really depended on the fanfiction whether or not I liked it. So, I don't think they fit well together. I don't think their personalities go well together. I don't think the way they grew up, to get, they grew up kind of made them have similarities. I think they were just completely different people and the relationship between them would just not have worked just from the way that they grew up in. Like, and based on their personalities, I don't think it would have worked at all. And I also, it's not that ship is just a bit annoying to me really because it's like that just that popular thing of oh the enemies obviously there's like sparks between them and love and they secretly love each other and they just pretend they hate each other I just can't deal with that that's just moving on to the next one which I've seen a lot and I just can't deal with is Snary Severus Snape Harry Potter no 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 no, no. For multiple reasons. First of all, I hate Snape. I can't stand him at all, so obviously he doesn't deserve Harry. Then also, I, I'm not the person to fuss about age differences. I don't care. If fan fictions are set in like the future where Harry is an adult and Snape is an adult, then I still wouldn't like this pairing because I don't think they go well together. Again, just from Snape's past and his obsession with Lily and whatever, I don't think he and Harry would have made a good pair at all. They grew up differently, they have different ideas and ideologies and whatever, they just don't work well together. And as an added, if there is some fiction with Harry still being at school and Severus Snape, his teacher, and then being in a relationship, that's just a big no, just in general. Snary just gets a big no for me. The next one is Hermione and Ginny, which I think is really cute, so that one gets a yay from me. I think they go well together, I could just kind of read like a lot of fan fictions of them hanging out together at the burrow while the boys are like playing Quidditch or whatever, and just hanging out and then sleeping in the same room and just kind of, I don't know, I think it just has a cute energy and while I think the personalities are a bit different, I think that would still work well together, so yay. Then Luna and Ginny. Luna and Ginny, again, I think is very cute, so I think that one would get a yay from me. Again, I think their personalities are just so slightly different that they would still work together. So, yeah, not much to say about that. I really like that one. Uh, Luna and Hermione, while it's pro it will probably be cute, like, I think they could complement each other really, way, really well. I'm going to give this an A because I just don't think that would work out. Like they're too different and they have completely different ideas of like the world and like their views on like things. I think they are just too different in that scenario. So that one gets an A for me. Next one is on my list, Harry Potter and Tom Riddle. <sighs> While I like this pairing better than Dreary, like on the base, on the whole, like oh, they're enemies, but they're really not for each other. This is the main reason why I don't like it, just because they're enemies doesn't mean they should end up together. And I don't think they would have worked out just from like views or whatever. Like, I, no, I don't know. It's an A. And the next one, which is so, like, no. No, don't get me started on this, but there's so many from fictions and I remember them so vividly, like a nightmare. Harry and Dumbledore. Harry Potter and Dumbledore. It's a no. No. I'm not even going to go into detail on that. It's a no. Okay, next one. Snape and Lily, which again is a big no from me. Because I just don't think they would have worked out together. I did like them as friends, like their period where they were friends. But 
even that was like already very far on the border just because I think like ideas were just too different so I d I've never seen them work out and obviously Snoop doesn't deserve it so moving on Wolf Star which if you don't know what that is it's Rames Lupin and Sirius Black read tons of fan fiction on it I do like it that one gets a yay from me just because I think it's really cute and I think they fit well together and I just think that pairing is really well made up and I enjoy seeing like fan art and stuff of that one so yeah that one gets a yay from me I think they would have worked well together next one okay so now we're getting into the twins Fred and George and what happened there okay so while I am completely against incest or twincest or whatever you want to call it with the twins um, I do enjoy triple relationships like fan fiction about triple relationships with them and specific people but not with them being together but just with both of them being with the same person if that makes sense so I'm gonna start with Hermione, Fred and George as like a triple which I like she's one of the only people that I really can see with the twins and that I really like with the twins so that one definitely gets a yay from me um, and then also Hermione separately with each of them JK Rowling was originally planning to let Hermione end up with Fred and I am so sad that this is not happening I would have loved them together. Just like this one, there's like a couple of scenes where they just kind of, I don't know, they just have, they have this like energy about me, about them that I really enjoyed. So I would have really enjoyed seeing Hermione with one of the twins, especially Fred. The same goes for George, obviously. I just think their setup with Fred was a little bit better. But yeah, that's Hermione with the twins. Then we've got Harry with the twins. Is again, her Harry and Hermione are like the only two people that I can really see with the twins obviously there's Lee Jordan but I'm not that invested in Lee Jordan as a character so I can't I'm not I didn't put that in there because I just don't know Lee Jordan as a character very well but Harry and Hermione are like the only two people that I can really see with the twins and that I really enjoyed with the twins so the Harry Fred George thing again I think that's really nice I think it would have worked really well uh, they would have like worked really well so yeah, then Harry and Fred, Harry and George, like it's basically the same. I would have enjoyed, like, like I enjoy, I read loads of fan fictions on them together, and I don't know, I just really like them, so that gets a yay. Then, moving on, talking about some of my favourite characters that are definitely too underrated, Charlie Weasley. I love Charlie Weasley, I just love him. And I've read quite a few fan fictions of him. With Harry which I think is cute but this is really just based on like a fandom you don't get to know Charlie Weasley very well so obviously like the main bit of his personality and stuff is just made up in fan fictions and I think that's so you can kind of just like make them work together but I still kind of enjoy them as a pairing like this is one of my favorite pairings that I used to read so that one gets a yay and then we have Harry and Bill which is basically the same and again uh, I used to really enjoy that one so that one gets a yay as well but again that's most of his personality is just made up so it makes them work together I'm not sure if they would have actually worked really well together Ron and Fleur is a no for me wouldn't have worked Ron is too hot-headed and just no that it just wouldn't have worked. Like, I just can't see it happen in my head. So, even though he wanted, but, but that's again. Uh, I was gonna say, but even though he wanted it to, but he only wanted it to because of her appearance, really, didn't he? So they didn't even know each other. I think it's a bit like Harry and Cho. Another pairing that I was weirdly obsessed with when I was like twelve for some reason. But okay, let me just say, when I was twelve, I was really weirdly obsessed with Oliver Wood. Like, I've got my first ever wand that I got was Oliver Woods. 
and I still can't explain why. I just was weirdly obsessed with him. And like, as you can tell, I'm really into underrated characters. So obviously, a big pairing for Oliver Wood that's like around is Oliver Wood and Marcus Flint, which in that case, I did enjoy the whole enemy thing. I didn't enjoy them in a relationship together, but I enjoyed like their whole, I hate you, but actually I really like, I like, I admire you and I really like you. So that one gets a yay from me from my 12 year old self and a meh from now, cause I'm actually not sure you don't get to know them either. You get to know Oliver Wood a little bit, but you don't get to know Marcus Flint at all. So, then, the next person that is on my list is Lucius Malfoy and Severus Snape, which there is a lot of fanfiction about it. I haven't read a lot. It kind of just, it has kind of just shown up as like side pairings and like the fanfictions I've been reading. And as a fanfiction pairing, I like them together. Like there's not much about, there's not much I can say. I enjoy them together in their fanfiction pairings, but not as like actually together i think they were a bit too different just like from their views and like how they grew up like i feel like i said this a lot but this is just a big point in most characters but just lucius is like really snobby and snape is just like arrogant i don't know it's there i think there's a slight difference there but i think potentially that could have worked and i did like them as side characters in fan fictions so that one gets like Yay, meh. The next one I've got written down is Snape and James, and that's a no. And again, it's based on the whole oh, we're enemies, but actually, there's a big spark of love there, and we end up together. It's a no for me. Sirius and James. While I think this is very similar to Wolfstar, so like Ramus and Sirius, I don't think it works the same way. I think Ramus and Sirius go really well together. But Sirius and James are better as best friends. I think they just work as bros, like dudes, bros, best friends, perfectly. They're like the, honestly, they, they are so perfect for each other, but not as like a relationship. So it's a no for the relationship, it's a yes for them just being together as people. Next one, Voldemort and Bellatrix. Gross. Just gross. Not, I suppose they do go well together, but anything with Voldemort is just gross. It's a no. Next one, Crab and Goyle. Seamus and Dean. Moving on to them. I think they're really cute, but like, again, Seamus and Dean are more side characters in the whole story and while you do get little glimpses of them throughout the books and like of their personalities and stuff you don't get to um like you don't get to know them in a way where you could explain them in like relationship like if like say if they would work well together or not I think they would and I read a couple of fan fictions about them and I think they work well but that again fanfic like because you know so little information about them most of their like personalities and characters in fan fictions are made up so you, they just people just made them work together but that doesn't specifically mean that they would i'm still going to give this one a yay though neville and Ginny, i've mentioned that one before i would have loved them ending up together so this one is a yay and like them get, going to the ball together and that i just think it's really cute i think they could have potentially worked out together. I just... I'm not even going to say I just liked her better with Harry. I just... I'm happy with her ending up with Harry, so... Not much I can say to that. I would have also enjoyed her ending up with Neville. Then Neville and Luna is, again, something that you can't really say much about. But just from their personalities, I think they might have worked together. They might have. Like, I'm saying this as, like, they might. Because I'm not 100% sure. Because their personalities are similar. But I'm not sure if they're similar enough. And I'm also not sure if a relationship between them would have really worked. Because just their personalities together would probably be a lot of chaos. And I'm not sure if that is good for a long-term relationship. But just, I'm going to give this, like, this again. 
because I'm just not sure about it. I think they're cute, but not. I don't know. I just don't. It's it's a diss. Okay, we're almost through with the whole list. Now I just really weird one. So Voldemort and Peter Pettigrew again. Anything with Voldemort makes me feel sick, and then anything with Peter Pettigrew also makes me feel sick. So them together is just a big no. Dumbledore, Albus Dumbledore, and Gellert Grindelwald, which is. I wasn't even sure if I should have put that one with the canon pairings because it's somewhat confirmed that there was something going on but somewhat not so who knows but I I don't know you don't know that much about their past together and about their personalities well you know like Dumbledore's personality and you know Grindelwald's personality but you know only really know Grindelwald's like evil like persona so I'm not like the person that he was before might have been really good with Dumbledore so I think again fan fiction wise I would enjoy them together and I probably would read fan fictions about them but that's again because fan fictions will probably make them fit together and work together so it's this again two more again Voldemort and Harry Potter which in my opinion is very different from Harry and Tom Riddle because Voldemort and Tom Riddle are, in my opinion, different people. Also, also that they look very different. I think looks in this is very important because Voldemort. But Tom Riddle was like, I don't know, he was a strapping guy, I guess. So I can see Harry and Tom Riddle happening a lot better than Harry and Voldemort. So while I think I gave Harry and Tom Riddle like a maybe like even a yay I, I'm not sure Harry and Voldemort is like a different no it just no they just it just doesn't sit right with me and the last one that I've written down is Dumbledore and McGonagall which I think oh, let me just stretch my legs which I think is I'm not too sure about that one to be honest because I feel like they're both that I don't know, I think I'm gonna give that one a nay, like a no, because first of all, they are very much people for me that just don't fit really with anyone. So like I can't see McGonagall like as a married person, neither do I see Dumbledore like that. And then them together, just I think again, I think they're really good as besties. I think them being besties and like hanging out in the offices and whatever and like at lunch and dinner or just like going for walks or whatever I think that's really cute and I really support that but them as a relationship I don't think I don't think that would have worked so nay for friends no wait nay for relationship yay for friends there we go okay so I'm sorry if your favorite pairing wasn't in this you can let me know maybe in the comments if you have another one and I can just reply and say what I think about it. Let me know what you think about those pairings. Maybe let me know which one was the most awful that I've just mentioned. And which one is your favourite pairing? Like which ones you like the most? And what you think of the canon pairings maybe as well. So yeah, I'm really excited to hear what you think. If you don't have anything nice to say, just don't say anything. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. And... I will see you maybe this week, if not, definitely next week. Bye!